Hello! In this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through step-by-step -step how to create this knockout effect with your designs here in Adobe Illustrator. I'm going to pull this one over here to the side so that we can start fresh right here in the middle. The first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to go right over here to our type tool and we're going to click on that and then we're going to click anywhere on our artboard and when we do that it's going to bring up just some random letters and that's where we're going to type in what we want our design to say. So for this example we're using the phrase my favorite Nana. I'm also going to make this bigger just so that we can see it. Um, you can make it bigger by holding down shift and dragging the corner or over here in the text tool, you can also make it bigger. Now, this is not necessarily the font that I want to use. So in order to change the font, I'm gonna select the section of my text that I would like to change. And I'm gonna go over here to the character menu and I'm going to type out the font that I want to use. Now, I'm gonna use the font today called um, Garden Walk. And I really love this font because it actually comes as a pair, which makes doing these knockout designs with this particular font amazing. So it comes with the bold font to put behind and it comes with the skinny font to put in front. Now once I have my font selected it's time for me to change these words into a graphic. So I'm going to make sure that my selection tool that my text is no longer individually selected but that I have this box around it and then I'm going to go up here to type create outlines. And now I can no longer edit the font choice. Um, it more is reading it like a graphic. In order to go in and adjust individual elements of this, I need to ungroup it. So I'm gonna go object, ungroup. Now, each one of these elements of my design is individual and I can really go in and personalize it to look exactly the way that I want. So I'm just gonna make this my favorite a little bit smaller and I'm going to bring it down and I'm gonna work with the word Nana first. Now, I'm going to make the word Nana a lot bigger. Again, I'm holding down on the shift key and then I'm dragging my arrow on that bottom corner. The reason why I'm holding down on the shift key is if I don't, it makes it um, unproportionately bigger or smaller and then it can look really out of whack. So once I have the word Nana kind of exactly the way that I want, what I'm going to do now is I need to make sure each one of these words is in one single path. They can't be individual for this technique to work. So the shortcut is Control 8 or Command 8 if you are on a Mac. And now that is one element of my design. The next thing I'm going to do is I need to take the word my favorite. At this point, I can edit if I want to adjust any um, letters or anything like that. And once I have it exactly the way that I want, I need to unite all of these so that each one of these little areas are not overlapping. So I'm going to click on unite. And when I do that, it becomes one word, but it's not necessarily one path. So I still need to also click on control eight. And now it's another full element of my design. So now I have two elements, the word my favorite and then the word Nana. And I'm going to place them on top of each other. And I'm going to change the colors here just so that it makes it a little bit easier for you guys to see kind of what I'm doing here in the background. And um, what I'm going to do now is I need to get rid of... Um, not necessarily get rid of, but notice how it's kind of hard to read that word favorite since it doesn't have an outline on it. And so what I want to do to really get this knockout effect looking good is I want to create an outline on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the word my favorite. I'm going to go up here to object path and it says offset path. And that's what I want to do. I'm going to create a small offset around my design. Now I can click on preview and that will show me how thick it is. If I don't necessarily like that one, I can change the thickness right here. And then you just uncheck preview and check preview again, and it will show you what the new um, offset is that you're creating. And once you're at a size that you like, you're going to click on OK. Now it looks like your original lettering disappeared. While it didn't, it's still completely there, but what um, it's all the same color. So I'm just going to change this offset to white so that now you guys can see a better idea of what's happening. So right now we have three elements of our design. We have the word my favorite, we have the offset that's selected, and then we have the word Nana. What we want to do is we want to cut that offset out 
of the word Nana. So that way we don't have to layer anything. So I'm going to continue to keep that offset highlighted. I'm going to hold down the shift key and I'm also going to select the word Nana. Then I'm going to go over here to my Pathfinder tool. If it's not up over here for some reason, you can always go to Window, Pathfinder, and it will pop up that way. And then I'm just going to select the minus the front tool. And when I do that, notice that entire offset, that outline is now gone. And so I can move that word Nana and see how it's completely cut out of that word. How you go about um, using that knockout effect to really help emphasize whatever your design is. And then at this point, um, you want to make sure that you have clicked on your back word and put it back in one path. All you have to do is you hold down um, Control-8, Command-8 on a Mac, and then I'm gonna go up here to File, Save As, and then I'm just gonna wanna make sure that I save it as SVG. And then once I have it saved as an SVG, I can open it in my Cricut Design Space or in my Silhouette Studio, as long as I have Designer Edition or higher. And um, that way I don't have to layer any elements of my design. It's all completely knocked out. So I can't wait to see the way that you use this technique and I will see you back in the next tutorial. Bye.